Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this Inno 3D RTX 3070 Ti and the user says that this graphic card doesn't get detected and the fans are not spinning. So he also mentioned that uh, there was some kind of uh, smoke uh, from the card and uh, after that it's not working. So let's take a look, uh, let's measure some resistance and see if uh, we have any shots on the main voltage rails. So let's start with the 12 volt PCIe and uh, let's measure it. Let's check. We have kilo ohms and rising. So we don't uh, see any short there. Let's take a look at 3.3 3 volts. We don't have any shorts. And uh, let's take a look at the eight pins. And we don't have any shorts on the first one as well as the second one. So uh, we are good to go here. So let's put this card on the test bench and check, uh, you know, if we get any detection or fence pin or let's verify what the customer is saying. Let's put this thing up. And we don't see any spin. Okay, so looks like the fans are not spinning and this card is not detected. Let's put this card back on the uh, bench and uh, let's take a look from there. Okay, so uh, this card is not getting detected. Let's open this thing up and uh, let's find out from there. Okay, let's open it. What the, is this a 3070 Ti? This looks like a 3080 code. Okay, now that's surprising. I, I have never seen a 3070 Ti with a GA102 die. Now this is how a 3070 Ti should look, a GA104. But a, a GA102, since when did NVIDIA, you know, launch 3070 Ti's with GA102? Uh, that's surprising. Okay, let's uh, continue. So I've dismantled the card completely and uh, let's take a look under the microscope. So uh, observing, you know, with the naked eye, it doesn't seem like I can see anything. Everything looks to be normal, but let's check under the microscope. Maybe we can notice something uh, that might be out of the, you know, out of place. Um, Let's check carefully. Well, everything looks good so far. I don't see any marks or any burns or anything blown. Nothing of that sort. I, everything looks to be okay. Yeah. Okay, it looks good to me. Uh, I don't see anything that's blown. Everything looks to be okay. Okay, so it's time to measure the resistance. Uh, let's check the resistance and see what we get. Uh, let me connect my uh, probes. Okay, let's start with the 8 pin again. And uh, we don't see any short there. Let's take a look at the other one. And again, we don't have any shorts. Let's take a look at 5 volts. And uh, we don't have any shorts. Uh, 1.8. Again, uh, we don't have any shots and pecs. We have about 4.5, uh, which is good enough. Okay, so uh, everything looks to be okay in the front. Let's take a look at the back. Let's check memory. Since these are through holes, uh, let's check the resistance on the memory. And we have about uh, 48 ohms, which is good enough. Uh, we also have a 12 volt PCIe from here and let's take a look okay on this looks to be okay there's no short okay so let's connect the uh, power supply and uh, let's measure the voltage let's turn this thing on and let's see how much it draws okay 
So we have only about 0 0.2 amps, 0 0.02 amps, which is quite low. Um, okay, let's measure the voltage now. Let's see what we are missing. 12 volts, and we have 12 volts. Let me just put this thing aside. Okay, let's check the second 8 pin. And we have 12 volts here. Let's check 5. And we are missing 5 volts. Okay, so we have about 0 .9, 0 0.09 uh, milli uh, volts, which is 2 less. And because we don't have uh, 5, we will not have rest of the voltages here. Okay, so 1.8 uh, pecs and everything else is missing just because our 5 volt is, you know, missing. Okay, so uh, let's take a closer look and let's check uh, why we are missing 5 volt. So uh, 5 volt is generated by this chip here. Let's check the voltage again. And we have about 0 0.09 volts. Uh, so this is the IC that is uh, responsible for uh, generating the 5 volt. Let's check. This should generate or this should have 12 volts and we do. So this is the enable pin and let's check if we have okay okay so it looks like we don't have uh, our enable signal and enable is generated by this uh, dual transistor here okay so that is generated by this circuit that you see here and this is the resistor so on this side of the resistor i should have 12 volts and let's measure it i do have 12 volts and on the other side it should be 0 0.6 and we do Let's take a look at the other resistor. So this is coming from the PCIe. Let's take a look on this side of the resistor. And we don't have 12 volts. So we are missing 12 volts that's coming in from the PCIe. And this is the cause of our problem. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, that 12 volts is coming in from this circuit here let me point it out this inductor so this is the circuit that's responsible for the 12 volts coming in from the pcie and uh, let's take a look at this resistor the shunt resistor and we have 12 volts let's take a look at uh, this side of the inductor and we do have 12 volts and on this side we are missing the 12 volts so it looks like our inductor is open. It's very rare that you see an inductor that goes open. And this is the cause of our problem. So we have 12 volts on one side and 0 or 0 0.6 on the other. Okay, so I will have to replace this uh, inductor and uh, we'll continue. Okay, so I have replaced the repl inductor and let's take a look. And we have our 5 volts now. And uh, since we have our 5 volts, let's take a look at 1.8. We have our 1.8 and let's take a look at PECs. We do have PECs as well. Okay, so we have uh, PECs and 1.8. Let's check core. And we also have the core voltage. Okay, everything looks to be good. Uh, let's check our enable signal. So the voltage that's supposed to come as enable is 2.3 volts and we have that and because of which we do have our 5 volts as well. Okay, so this card is now powering on. All the voltages are present. Let me put this on the bench and take a look. So the card is on the bench. Uh, let me boot this thing up and let's check if it now gets detected. Okay, it looks like uh, it has got detected, so it will boot up again. Let's check if we have a picture. And if we do, I will assemble this card and stress test it. Okay, we do have a picture. You can see the thing, as we have the image here, and this card is now working. Okay, so let me turn this thing off and take it to my workbench. All right, so uh, this is the inductor that has been replaced and uh, let me show it to you. 
okay so let me just uh, get rid of it throw it in the bin we don't require that anymore okay so let me just clean this part and assemble the card Okay, so the card is fully assembled. Okay, let me put this back on the bench and uh, test it from there. So the card is on the bench. Let's boot this thing up and uh, let's boot into Windows. So you can see the fans are spinning now. Okay, so we are in Windows and the drivers have loaded. Let's take a look. It shows that the device is working properly. Okay, let's... Uh, you, you know, open Firmark and check if it's stable. Okay, so let's open GPU Z and open Firmark as well. I'm going to stress this card for about 15 20 minutes or so. Uh, if it's uh, stable, then uh, this card is ready to be delivered to its uh, owner. Okay, so all everything looks. Uh, okay to me it shows that it is the 3070 ti i was really stunned uh, when i first opened the card it was i did not expect it to have a ga102 die now ga102 is used uh, either on a 3080 or a 3080 ti or a 3090 uh, i've never heard i myself i've never heard uh, a ga102 die being used on a 3070 ti so if if you heard uh, a GA102 die or a 3080, 3090 die used on a 3070 Ti, uh, please mention in the comment section because uh, this is the first time that I'm looking at uh, this particular die on a 3070 Ti. Uh, so uh, apart from this, I uh, this card is now fixed and uh, this card is looking nice and stable. 
so I'm just going to keep this running for about another 15 20 minutes or so and if this thing is done I'm going to send this card back uh, to its owner I'll just run uh, heavens as well just for a bit and then switch it back over to uh, Fermark so that I put enough of load on the GPU core so uh, that's about it for this video if you do like it please hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this uh, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section I do make sure that I respond to every comment uh, that is left on uh, my videos so that's it Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.